Would you take, if I put those in with that, would you take 400 for all of it? Um, I've got it on, I've got 400 bucks on me. Down on Coco, back again for another video. We are heading out today and going garage sailing. We've got a few floating about, so we're hoping for some goodies. Uh, I'm itching to get out, get into it, see what we can get. I've got a bit of money in the wallet and see if we can turn that cash into something. So good. you're new to the channel, aren't you? You're new, you don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what I'm up to, you've got no idea. You've just clicked on and come out a look. Well, hit that sub button, because uh, if you love nostalgia, you love finding things out in the wild, things that you grew up with, all that sort of shit. I go out and find that sort of stuff, and then I put it online and make money out of it, you know? I'm one of those pricks. Yeah, one of those pricks, the ones you hate. Well, guess what? There's a whole community behind me that does it too. Anyway, I sell shit online. I'm a full-time reseller. I was made redundant last year, and I was doing this on the side as a side hustle. Now, I flip shit as a full-time job. This is my passion, this is my job, and I love it. Get more time with the family, and I just love hustling. I love finding this shit. But today, I am going out and going garage selling. So, in America, yard selling, whatever you want to call it. I'm going around, seeing what I can get for a good price, and I'll put it online and see how much money I can get out of it. That's what I do for a living. I fucking love it. Let's get into it. So one thing that I can tell you about garage sales, they advertise records, that's going to be the popular one, that's where everyone's going first. It's just something that a lot of people collect, a lot of the older blokes, they love it, they get into it, they just fucking fat up when it comes to records. Um, I do a little bit too, uh, I do love finding them. Anyway, this first one says it's got a lot of records, so I thought I'm going to get in there first because I can only go to a couple, Eli's got a swimming lesson, then I'm going to swing to the swimming lesson and then go out and hit them up late, so I don't even know if I'm going to get anything today. So my main priority today is to go and see if there's any records. So we've been to the first one and she had heaps and there was good ones, a lot of them modern but sealed, the stuff you get at JB Hi-Fi and she's looking at like 25 each, which is a bit much for me when they're going to sell for around the $40 mark, so... Um, I wasn't that interested in sort of purchasing too much. There was guys fighting over it, throwing her money, just lowballing her. Um, you know, that, I'll give you the lot. For, I'll give you hundred bucks for the lot. That's a good deal if you can get it. But she ain't. She knows what she's got. So basically, my plan is I'm going to go back there at the end of this and then see what she's got left, and then make an offer that's probably better than the ones that I just heard, and just see if I can snag something. Um, whether she takes the bait, I don't know. It might be gone. Who knows? But I couldn't pass up on this one. So we've got an original original kiss there. Um, reason being, I grabbed that one first off the bat. She wanted 20 bucks and I paid it. Um, I don't even know if it's worth much more than that. But my son, he's only two and a half, but he's obsessed with kiss. So I collect these for him and he loves records. So um, I just grabbed that anyway. She also had a few pop finals there. I just grabbed a little Chucky. Uh, Got to grab the child's play too. Grab myself a Chucky. And um, now, if you're aware, big box games sell quite good. Uh, big box PC games, if they're in the original box, they do sell well. Now I've got some, um, but by no means do I think they're any good. But she only wanted five bucks for the three of them. Um, if I can find the fucking things. So, first off the bat, we've got the EA Classics. I don't actually know what they're worth, but um, we've got the Freedom Force then. Uh, now, I can't imagine this to be worth shit, but, you know, I've paid a couple of dollars for it. So, the chess, I took a punt on. And some Lynx 99, a golfing one. Um, once again, I haven't even looked them up yet, so... I just an absolute punt. I know the obvious good ones go well, but I've just uh, grabbed them because they were there. So uh, hopefully there's a couple of bucks in them, but we'll see. So this one's a moving sale and the truck's here. 
So a bit of luck that means shit will go pretty cheap. Hopefully they'll be thrown out. I'm Not bad for a Saturday. That's a go. Had a few through. Yeah, it has been. It's been, it's been a good morning. Yep. Got rid of some hay for shit. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I noticed there's a lot getting around the base. Yeah, they said that there's heaps of go. Yeah. Well, it's nearly been 12 months since they've been allowed to have it. Yeah, um, that's it. All the real garage sale junkies are in. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're all itching. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Hi, mate. Hey, Having a win? Oh, bits and pieces. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Yeah. It's always good. Oh, All good fun. Yeah, that's it. I might go through this a bit better when I get home. There's a lot of comic books there. Um, it's mostly X Men and shit. 80s and 90s, so that's cool. These were a dollar each. Um, Heartland. Joys of this, he works at markets, so um, he actually had F Boss. But Heartland, if you can get a lot of these, it's like 13, you can get a couple hundred bucks. So I've grabbed about six seasons um, for a dollar each. So no complaints there. There's also a couple of video games. Oh, now, look how they all... The um, covers are a bit dinged up, but that's fine. They're all Spider-Man. We'll replace the covers. They've been out in the sun. You can tell they've been at the markets. Uh, the discs are all good. That's a, that's only a 10 bucker, I think. I have sold all of these before. I know that one I could probably get 20 to 30 for. Um, the $10 games, that'll just go in bundles. You know, I, uh, I only sell bundles these days if they're under 10 bucks or under 12 bucks even. And that one I'm not sure either. I might put those two together. But I might even put all three together, but I think that's uh, definitely a $20 game. So not a bad little start. We've got a bag of stuff. We'll go through those comics when I get home. I don't do comps in garage sales. It's rude as fuck. So you just got to take a punt with this one um, for paying five bucks. They had ten on it, but I got five. Uh, you know, I can just hang that on the wall. And I've got other ones to bundle up with. So five bucks. It's going for more than that anyway. And the other one is the Jon Snow. Uh, I'm still in box. So... 10 bucks for those, so that's not too bad. Um, I love selling the collectibles and toys and all that sort of shit. You know that? I don't like Game of Thrones. I think it's fucking shit. If you like it, that's up to you. Um, fair enough, but not for me. Um, but if it makes me a couple of dollars, won't be heaps, but uh, sweet. So let's get on to the next one. Um, there's a couple more still going. That one was, they all seem to be like community ones for different uh, projects and shit. So, like cat fans and fucking, that was some sort of group, swingers group or something, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to skip over the other side of town now and there's another three. And I think that's going to do it for us. Obliged to uh, buy something then because it was a, a charity of fundraiser thing for cats. Uh, now, heaps of the reselling community have cats. Look, don't get me wrong, I love pussy, but I probably never own a cat. Um, just, I'm allergic to them. I, I love any, any sort of creature, but cats aren't my thing. So, uh, since I don't own one, I can't show you any cat videos. I know this community absolutely love their cats. So, I thought, well, I've got to donate them some money. So, I've just taken a punt. Um, taken an absolute punt, but this was only a little book set here. So, got that. I don't know what it is. Don't know what it's worth. I got to look it up. We got that one. Just being a set. Also, one of us two bucks each. They were just clearing shit out. Um, oh, I just fucking broke that one. And this bad boy. Uh, what do we got? The yeah, I don't even know. So, booksellers. Is that a good pickup? I don't know. Just because they were sets, I thought I'll grab them. So that's uh, not too bad, but. This one here is at a motel, and I was itching to get here because of the ad. Um, they showed that video play that I've sold a few times. They had four of them. I don't know if they work or what the go is, but uh, 
it's at this little hotel here, so I don't know. Who knows what's going on? Could be uh, old leftovers. Not much there, mate. In there. No, there you go. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Good, good. Go around sailing here. Yeah. Beautiful, thank you. See your sausage first. Sail, sausage, oh, you can come out. Beautiful, thank you. That's it. You're finished. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Well, here's one you won't see many people pick up. Uh, we've got the bass guitar here, Defender. So he wanted he wanted a hungy on it, and I just said, nah, look, the best I can do is 50 bucks. He hummed and hard, he wasn't too keen, but he took the bait. So we've got a uh, Fender here. Now, a lot of people don't flip musical instruments. I've got a music background, so I love finding them. Um, really love finding this stuff. Sold a lot of mine. I used to collect guitars, electric guitars. This is a bass guitar, four string for, you know, those that don't have the ability to play six, they end up playing bass if they can't work out how to learn uh, a proper guitar. So, um, look, I've got 50 for this. I'm gonna flip this local because it's heavy as shit. It's gonna be a bitch to post, but uh, it's in pretty good nick. He wanted the hungy, he got the 50. Um, but even this strap, it's a good strap. It's a Fender strap. I could take this strap off and sell the strap for 20 bucks. So, look, you're gonna do pretty well out of it. But locally, I can get 150 bucks. Uh, 150, 150 bucks. 150 bucks for this, straight off the bat. But, um, you know, we're gonna go with, I don't know, maybe higher. But I'll take it home and test it. And uh, it's even in tune. We'll um, definitely test that in the amp. We've got one at home there, so. But you often see this sort of stuff kicking about and I only recommend kind of grabbing it if you know what you're looking at because you gotta flip it locally and a lot of the time you have to pay up. And Well, I don't know if I've done a good thing or a bad thing there. Um, just bought two boxes of comic books. I flicked through them. There's a lot of old stuff, old Batman and shit. So it's been a comic book kind of day. Pick some up early. Big stack of X-Men comics and that. And I'm, my knowledge on comics is very, very minimal. So um, I can't wait to go through these. I love Batman and shit. I, I'm itching to get through this stuff. I think I've got that for a good price. But uh, we'll soon see. <laughs> I know a lot of comics go for your five dollars and shit, and I'm not into selling them for that much. But I think I've paid sixty bucks for that lot, plus there's some series of books and shit in there. So I think if I um, flog them off in bundles, I'm gonna probably do okay out of it. So I'm gonna have a big sticky beak into that when we get home. Um, I'm itching to get into it, but. Um... Okay. There you go. Yeah, good. Pack up for yeah. tomorrow, but is anything there? Yeah, I was here this morning. I oh, you got the record, didn't got you? The record, yeah. I was, oh. I was just wondering because you said about having some more. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I should have some more for tomorrow morning. Yeah. 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 I was, yeah, I was just sort of wondering what you had left. Oh, okay, we can have a look. There's um those yeah. and uh, okay. then one there. And, um, yeah. 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 You know more than me, I just buy them. <laughs> so try and put it over that side, Jay. So I've got to put boxes through that way. So put them in. How much would you want for the lot of them? Oh. All those, those, those. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, these ones, um... See, I've got 20 on these, 20, 40. That's 50, but I could do 20 for that. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. See, these are 65, so I could do 20 on them. 120, 140, 160, 180, 2, 220, 240, 260. Um, yeah. so would you take, if I put those in with that, would you take 400 for all of it? Um, I've got it on. I've got 400 bucks on me, so I can give it to you now. And which which ones for? So this tub here and this stuff here. 
Oh. If you want, I can give you 400 for a lot now. Probably not for these three, because I'm um, not including them. I could do all these and that, and what's yeah. in there for 400, but. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking if I do the 400, I'd, yeah, I want the lot, that's all. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll grab Kenny. They're new, you could have them ones too if you want. Yeah, right, I'll grab those and maybe Canny if you're happy to throw them. Electric yeah. use. No, I'd be happy to throw them in for you. Uh, maybe those too, if that's alright. Yep. Yep. Alright, I'll do sure. I'll do that for you. Oh well, what a big day. I thought I'd end it there and come home and show you the rest of me stuff. Um we <laughs> we got some bangers, so you just seen the end of that. Um we ended up going and going back. So the very first garage sale I went to this morning, she had so much stuff. She was getting bombarded with offers and I just sort of kicked back and decided I'll go back later, see what she's got left and just throw an offer on the lot. And I did and I got not quite all of it, but I've got most of it and I've got some really good stuff. I think I've got a really good deal. So let's flick in them and have a look. So basically I've worked out this to be... It's around five bucks a record. Now I'm not gonna show every, actually no, it's probably three bucks a record. I'm not gonna show every single one of them because there's a lot of crap there. I'm just gonna quickly flick through the best of it. Um, there's a lot of little bundles that I'll make up. I don't know what the fuck that was. I was gonna scratch my nose from the other side because his hand's busy. <laughs> Basically she was copping some pretty low ball offers and uh, I felt a bit bad for her because she had guys coming at her when I went the first time, just, you know, 100 bucks for the lot. And there was a lot more than what I picked up when I first went there. She sold some of it off, unfortunately. But they're throwing 80 bucks, uh, 90 bucks. Oh, that's a good deal. Uh, it wasn't a good deal for her. And look, when I make deals, I want to make sure they get a good deal too. Unless they're already offering up for free or, you know, uh, you just don't want to be that scumbag. So... Basically, I'm not going to flick through all of these records. I'm just going to show you some of the main ones because there's some absolute bangers in here. There's not much original stuff. Um, it's reproduced stuff and a lot of soundtracks. But uh, the joy of it, a lot of it's sealed product. I'm going to show you the first two first. The first, the best two first. And this one's sealed. It's the Guns N' Roses um, Super Deluxe Edition. And look, she's uh, she's actually paid, if you can see that, 280 for that. Um, now, we'll have a look at some comps, but hopefully we can fetch something around that because then that's most of our money back sort of thing. So that is still all sealed up. Um, there's a little nick in the seal there, but that's an absolute ripper to start with. And then this one has a price tag of 195 on it as well, which is mental. Uh, the Fleetwood Mac, that is all sealed. Um, sorry, 155. The 50 tracks celebrating 50 years, so... Look, if we're going to get anything like that for these two, there's our money back. Well, on those two. Um, we're not going to get that money, I know that. But they are absolute bangers. Now, we're going to have to flick through a few of these because uh, I'll try and do it very quickly. I might swing the camera around and just flash off some of this. I have this. I own that. I love that album. That's uh, one of my all-time favourites. We've got some Twisted Sister... Bit of ACDC. Um, we got a couple of Kiss. So we got Kiss Alive was in this lot. Crowded House. The first one I got was actually Kiss. I think I showed that at the start. Um, we keep Kiss stuff. Don't know if we have that. But uh, if if we don't, we'll keep that. I'll keep that stuff for Eli. If we get doubles, I'll sell it. Metal Meltdown. That goes to some good money. I do already have that. We got Sticks. Um... But Kylie Minogue, I've sold this a couple of times. I picked this up a lot. And she can fetch around the 80 mark. I have got that before. Um, no kidding. And Kiss Destroyer, we already had that. So we'll sell that. Now, there's a lot of Kenny stuff. So this Kenny Rogers stuff, to my knowledge, individually doesn't go real well. But we will bulk Kenny up. Uh, we've got When Harry Met Sally. So that is actually still sealed. Electric Ute. There's a few just random ones that we got to throw in at the end there. Uh, Barbara Streisand. Still sealed though. <clears throat> um, it's not great, but still sealed. Tones and I. 
So that's obviously a modern one. Uh, Tones and I all sealed up. Route 66 all sealed up. Ray Charles still in its seal. So that is the joy of having these ones. Um, the Pretty Woman soundtrack. That looks like an older one. That is an older one. Um, that's shit. I got some Mariah picture disc. Into the Gat, Cliff Richard, there's a few, Dusty, some of these aren't worth a whole lot, Four Weddings and a Funeral, Olivia, oh, Olivia just took a spill, Neil Diamond, uh, this is fucking sick, it's not worth heaps of money, but it is actually a laser disc, if you don't know what that is, look at that, New Ripper, love them, love them, they're kind of rare, um, I know they are a bit hard to get, but that is sick. Soul Classics, still sealed, so these are very shitty, simple ones. But look, the original price on there, 47 uh, Old Michael Bublé, still sealed up. This, I want to keep this. It's sealed. I really want to keep this. It's got that at 50 bucks. Now, I don't know if this will represent what it'll sell for. Basically, if this stuff isn't on eBay, I'm going to go high. I'm just going to shoot high and try and maximise the profit out of this stuff. Um, because there's some really cool shit in here, especially the fact that it's sealed. I love Batman. I collect a bit of Batman stuff, especially from the movies. Um, a lot of people didn't like Batman forever. I fucking loved it. It was sweet. But that is, that's one of my favourites. It's probably not even going to, uh, crack the biggest amount of money. Anyway, back into it. Good old Whoopi Goldberg. We've got Sleepless in Seattle. These are sealed up. Look, absolutely beautiful condition. Footloose. That is a laser disc too. So, well, I'm not going to pull it out, but yeah, the old laser disc foot loose, Titanic. We're going to double up with the $64.99 price tag. Whether they go for that, I'm not sure, but uh, they are still sealed in their original packaging, and we've got two of them. So, that is uh, awesome. <laughs> the Nordic Professor. That was even 50 bucks. Fair dinkum. That was a, uh, that was a good movie. Um, Free Willy 2. So a lot of randomness. She had these for sale for 20 a piece, but uh, it'll be interesting. I think these are going to be slow sellers, personally, but they will sell. Kenny, more Kenny. Kenny bulk lots can do all right. I've done Kenny bulk lots before, and we've got a lot of it. Uh, we've got Neil Diamond, two for 50, but the 42.99 on there, the jazz singer, that's all sealed up. And another kiss, the, uh, the best of the solo albums, um, which is pretty cool. So... It's got all the albums there, and yeah, beautiful. So, look, I think we've done all right out of that. I love selling vinyl. I'm a big fan. I've got to pick this one up. I dropped uh, poor Liv there. Poor Liv hit the deck. Um, but there's some beautiful stuff in there. I think, you know, there's a few of these bigger, bigger ones here that we're going to get the money back straight away. The rest will sort of trickle away. Um, pretty easy to list, especially when they're brand new, brand spanking new, which is not something I've picked up a lot. Um, I have, I do sell a lot of vinyl, quite often get it, but uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty good. But anyway, I'm gonna move over here because I better put the lights on, it's getting dark, it's a bit later. Um, we got the comic books as well. So, if you were, were watching on, look, we got a bag there, that one. So at the start, at the very start of the day, we got this lot. So I did show you briefly. We are going to flick through them. Um, this bag of, I think it's mostly X-Force and X-Men comic books. So I got that lot and look, I didn't pay much for that. I paid 20 bucks for all of it. And there's me, uh, there's the, the uh, Fender. Uh, just on further inspection this, I'm getting a couple hundred bucks for that easy every day. I mean, if I wanted a, hundred, a quick $150 flip, that's straight on Facebook and probably sold tonight. Seriously. Everyone, even if you don't know guitar, you know Fender. Um, it's, it's a lower end brand of Fender, but it's still a really good guitar. Um, that, that will go super quick. I'm st so stoked I got that. Definitely do your research on that sort of shit, on musical instruments if you are gonna pick them up though. Um, so let's fang through some of these. So as I said, I, I don't have huge knowledge on comic books. Um, it's not something I specialize in. The reason I look at this stuff and focus on this stuff more is because of my good friend over the water. He's a few kicks of the footy on the other side of the uh, stream. Primetime Treasure Hunter. He's a good friend to us Aussies. He looks after us Aussies. 
If you don't know him, I mean, he's he's over in America. I'm sure everyone knows him. But if you purely only follow Australian content and you don't know Dom, please go over and sub to Dom. Um, he looked after me. He's a big part of the reason why I clicked over a thousand subs uh, for sharing my channel. He's just a really good dude. But his content's amazing. Very experienced reseller. And some of his niches are amazing. And one of them is this stuff. And I look at this stuff more because of his channel. He knows a lot about comic books. So dumb, I'm probably going to come at you if I get stuck with this shit. But uh, I was pretty psyched to get this. This guy, I filmed this while I was in there. So this was all on film. But I didn't realise the battery died or my storage ran out or something when I was in there. And I actually didn't get it. But he was, he was devastated. He didn't really want to sell a lot. He was hoping to sell them as, you know, two bucks each, three bucks each or whatever. And I just said how much for the whole lot. And he ended up saying 40 bucks, which was not much, in my opinion, because there's some bundles here that I think will get the money back easy, even if they are only sort of two, three dollar buddy comic books. I personally, with no experience and no knowledge, think that I'm gonna get it back. There's also some uh, not random, random books and shit in here, so they're not nothing nothing special, but it's uh, dork diaries and shit. I've sold that shit before, so they'll get bugger all, but um, I did have a look at some of the graphic novels, which will actually probably get my money back anyway, but we're going to bang through this super quick, super, super quick, but I'm going to show you what's in here. So, smack this bad boy around. It's a random mix, very random mix. confident I ain't going tits up. If you think I'm going tits up, let me know in the comments, but I think we're going to do a right out of this. Basically, the guy with the comics, he said he draws them, he uses this stuff as reference, he collects them as well, these are his doubles, so he, uh, yeah, he didn't, he wasn't too keen on getting rid of the lot, as I said, but he, he came through with the goods, so uh, that's it for me today. Um, you've seen it all. Uh, we're still kicking about on the bench here. Uh, with all the bits and pieces. I did comp these two out. Looks like we can get like 50 and 60 respectively. Um, I comped that one out. I think that will go all right, which I did expect. Turns out I can get about 30 bucks for that. And yeah, as assumed, chess was dog shit. Um, but you know, I paid five bucks for the three of them. So that's not too bad. Uh, I haven't looked up Jon Snow yet, but I'm guessing that's a 20, maybe $30. Generally these, it's a more modern one. That'll probably go for about 20 bucks, but yeah, I may keep it. I've got to check if I've got this, Chucky. I fucking dropped something on it in the car and uh, I've actually popped the front out there. So <laughs> we, might, uh, we might even just pull Chucky out and sit him on the desk or something, I don't know, but I paid $5 for him. 
something like that. But um, I think it's a pretty good day. I don't know what my favorite pickup is yet. I think the vinyl, like I was stoked with some of them. But in saying that, I think the best flip's gonna be the guitar. I think I'm gonna get, oh, I really think I'll get a couple hundred bucks straight out of that base. So um, let me know in the comments what you think was the best pickup for the day. But I had fun, went out, garage sale again. And you know what, the best bit is I went out late. So I done too early, but the rest of this stuff, I've gone out late in the day. Uh, you know, like they say, the early bird gets the worm, but sometimes if you're patient, you still get some fucking good shit. So <laughs> thank you very much, you legends. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that fucking thumb on the way out if you're still hanging around, because I've been dribbling a bit of shit in the last fucking few minutes. But a uh, little bit different of a video. If you like this style, let me know, because I might do a bit more of that going through some bulk lots and shit too, because I quite often pick up lots that I never actually show off. So if you like going through it with me, let me know. And uh, I will fucking see you in the next video. Woohoo!